All right, here with Rafael Zamora. Raf, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm back. All right, cool. Can you tell us a little bit about the PowerEdge C6100 that we just uh, announced today? So, yeah, absolutely. So, the PowerEdge C6100, uh, I'm going to spin this around so okay, you can get a better cool. view. So, think about this Think about this machine here, right? It, um, besides the fact that it's a 2U form factor, uh, within the 2U form factor, what we're able to do here is really package it... Uh, in a very dense fashion of compute. Uh, so what we essentially did was we took four, the equivalent of four discrete system servers, right? what you would equate to as uh, R610s today, and uh, put them into what we call a sled design. And each sled is individually serviceable, mounted through the back, and that's, that's number one. Oh, wow, cool. Number two, there's more. But wait, there's absolutely. more. Absolutely, there's absolutely three. Three. And last but not least, here's the fourth sled, right? So as you can see, for each one of these sleds, what I got here is actually not a compromise of a server, but a true production server. It incorporates two, a two-socket design, Tylersburg chip, Nehala microprocessors. Right now, we launched Westmere, so we've also got Westmere. It's got 12 dimstick-capable machines, right? So you see the dimsticks here. It's got a PCI Express expansion slot. It also has the capability to add a MES card, right? All within inside this 2U package. And remember, it's times four. All of these things have a very, very efficient mating feature as I would slide it out through the back. Voila. Very cool. Dual redundant power supplies as well. Also swappable through the rear. One, two. And let's go to the front here some of the coolest things here is that besides the fact that I just showed you the sleds, which equates to the board, the RAM, and the microprocessors, I also have a full complement of disk drives. Uh, the configuration that you see here is the more higher dense configuration, which are the two and a half inch drives. Um, it also has another option to buy three and a half inch drives. So you get 24 two and a half inch drives, and for a, a larger form factor drive, you get 12. And uh, the way you want to Release it. Here's a release tab here. Pulls all the way out. Uh, the hardest drive to sled ratio here on small form factor drives is six drives to every sled. Small form factor, two and a half. If you want to do the bigger drives, each sled is mated to three. A little high level. And um, Barton, anything else? No, that's very cool. Just quickly, what uh, what type of applications would you would you be using this for? So. There are a lot of applications uh, this could be used for. Uh, the high-performance compute cluster uh, folks love it because you can get InfiniBand down on each sled. The uh, search engine community loves it because I'm able to really condense a high-level amount of compute in a small piece of real estate. Uh, a, a lot of folks in the uh, Hadoop world loves these because uh, these are basically commoditized compute heads that I could actually... Uh, group a whole bunch of compute with. Uh, tons of applications. Excellent. Raphael, thank you so much.